Hi, I'm Dr. Lorinda Kwan from the Arizona Natural Health Center. Approximately 10% of people suffer from pet allergies. Did you know with cat allergies, what you're really allergic to is a cat's saliva, urine, and dander? This is the dried flakes of skin from the cat. Symptoms of cat allergies can include itchy, red eyes, sneezing, runny nose, congestion, tickling throat, and even difficulty breathing. There are a few things that Mother Nature can offer to help you deal with these cat allergies. Here are the five most important things you can do to deal with your allergies to cats. Number one, take vitamin C. Vitamin C helps to build a healthy immune system and is a safe and inexpensive vitamin that can be taken in larger doses. Even 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day can be safe but always check with your doctor to find out what the optimal level of vitamin C is for you. In about three to four weeks, you should see an improvement in your allergies. Also, remember to drink lots of water with your vitamin C. Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, so you'll receive maximum benefits by staying hydrated. It's also helpful to add foods rich in vitamin C. For vegetables, add red and green chili peppers, bell peppers, dark leafy greens such as kale, to your diet. Cook these foods minimally and even eat some of them raw because vitamin C is heat sensitive. So the longer you cook these vegetables, the more the vitamin decreases. For fruit, add papayas, citrus fruit, kiwi, and strawberries. Number two is quercetin. This is nature's antihistamine and helps to control allergies. The recommended dosage is about 1,000 milligrams a day in divided doses and taken between meals. Foods that contain quercetin include red wine, tea, apples, red grapes, red onion, and green leafy vegetables. Like the foods rich in vitamin C, these are best consumed raw to receive optimal benefits. Number three is stinging nettles, a common weed found in many parts of the United States and is also nature's antihistamine but without the unwanted side effects of drowsiness. About 300 milligrams daily will offer relief to most people. If you're checking out your health food store, you may find these allergy relievers together in one handy product similar to these. Number four, neti pots. This is a small teapot shaped vessel that has been used in India for thousands of years to flush the sinuses and keep them clear. The simple technique helps to flush out dander that you breathe in and thin out congestion so you can breathe better. Netties and other inexpensive nasal rinse products can be found easily at health food stores and even local drug stores are carrying them now. Use your neti pot about twice a day, especially if you've been playing with a cat. Number five is homeopathy. This is a natural alternative to allergy shots. Homeopathy is a safe and effective treatment for cat allergies for both adults and children. Homeopathy has a holistic ability to help balance an overreacting immune system to function more healthfully. You can find homeopathic medicines at your health food store. These are typically used over the counter for self-limiting conditions. For example, if you have cat allergies, you want to match the symptoms of your allergies to your remedy. If your symptoms are clear nasal discharge that is irritating to the skin, you may need a homeopathic medicine called Allium Sepa. If you have burning, itching eyes, you may need Euphrasia. Try one at a time to see which one might work for you. And with chronic allergies, it's always best to see a doctor that is skilled in prescribing homeopathic medicines. Remember, practice good hygiene, wash your hands frequently when around cats, and avoid touching your face. If you touch surfaces with dander and then your eyes or face, these are ways allergens enter the body. All of these supplements are relatively safe for treating allergies to cats, but always check with your doctor first with any questions and before beginning any treatments. I'm Dr. Lorinda Kwan from the Arizona Natural Health Center talking to you today about allergies to cats.